today we're doing transformation of exponential functions. Yay, math! Yay, math! So let's do, okay, all right, so here we go. Um, if we do uh, y equals 2, can somebody please be brave and tell me the first thing? What does that negative 2 mean, please? What does that negative 2 mean? Oh, what does that 2 mean? Great. So what we're going to do is, thank you, uh, multiply all the y values. Okay, so remember when you're doing this, it's like you're solving for x. So these are the locked operations inside the bracket that you're solving for x. What does that negative 1 tell us to do, please? Add 1 back. Before we come back, this is from earlier in the year, okay? Yeah? Okay. So now I'm going to break up into A's and B's and C's magically. If you can't remember which one you did, that's fine. You just did it once, okay? So we're going to just make a few little values here. So here's my X. Uh, we're going to do three tables of values. One is going to be 2 to the X, one is going to be 3 to the X, and then it's going to be 0 plus 5 to the X. What I want you to do for me is to use the values uh, negative 3, negative 2, negative Just whatever your row is. If you're in A, you'll be doing 2 to the x. If you're in B, you'll be doing 3 to the x. And if you're C, you'll be doing 0.5 to the x. We'll fill in the whole chart for everybody here, but it's going to just calculate them all. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause for 60 seconds or so. If you don't know what to do yet, I'll help. Okay? If I was doing 2 to the x, I would do this. Okay? So everywhere I saw an x, I plug that in. Sorry. Everywhere I, so I would call that. Somebody please tell me how I got 0 0.125. Okay, nobody, the answer is my calculator. That's the answer. Okay, that's what I did. I used my help there. Okay, yep. I do that. Okay, so all I want you to do is to calculate these values here for this. Okay, pick your favorite row and do it. And then I'll ask the volunteers to give me the answers here. And then we'll graph these, and we'll be graphing all three of these on the same graph. But the point is, as always, when you do a graph, you want to avoid table of values in the long run. So what we're going to hopefully show um, with this graph is um, some patterns that we can graph more quickly. Okay, so I'm going to pause my video and then I'll keep going here. All right, let's slowly take this up here. Uh, can somebody that was a, uh, a tell me what 2 to the negative 2 is? 0.25, thank you. Again, good luck. I like uh, what you said there because, again, it's one of the three you do up. It's easy. It's just a really one. It's like it's easy one. Okay, can one of those point five be brave here? Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Wow. Cool. Fast, efficient, and correct. Okay. Now, what do you notice about 0.5 to the x? What do you notice about it? Very good. So Alana said, who, 
Atlanta, who said that it would did the 2x, but notice that the points of 0.5 reacts are completely the opposite. Why does it make sense that the points are completely the opposite? Well, Luke, go ahead. Right on, so two and one half is similarly in some way, right? Like one of these is negative one is the opposite. I'm going to graph all of these. I'm not going to be able to get up to 27 on my paper, but I'll at least we'll go up to nine on your graph paper. So do a sketch of this, at least we'll get up to nine here. Do I know or do you know? I was, to be perfectly honest, when I was in the major, I hated graphing. I didn't see the value in it. Um, but when I got to university, I realized how important it really was. So, uh, but yeah, when I was grade, it took me a thousand hours of questions to get up and graph, and that's how I did. So, it's natural if you don't like graphing, um, to get those things up to go to. Okay, so I'm going up to nine on my graph. You can make it up to 27, go ahead, but we probably don't need to. Um, so, here's a nice little graph here. Um, just a reminder. Uh, you can change the scale left and right. Okay, so if I do this graph here, so there's zero, there's one, there's two, there's three. There's negative one, negative two, negative three. And I'm lucky when I do this because I have um, three different colored markers that these two touches there on, or um, you know, highlighters or whatever you want to do graph, that's fine. If you don't need to use a pencil or rubber tape, you just make sure the label is clearly in the C3 colored line. All right, so let's start with uh, 2 to the x. Uh, if y, so x is going to be negative 3, y is going to be 1 3, which is going to be 1 half. X to the negative 2 is going to be 0.25, which is going to be here. X to the negative 1 is going to be 0.5, which is going to be there. X to the 0 is going to be 1. X to the 1 is going to be 2. X to the 2 is going to be 4. X to the 3 is going to be 2. They are all, all in fact positive values. Okay. Now, and I'll show, I'm going to draw the graph that connects it here. It's a good observation to explain why. Can someone guess if I was doing the next one, x equals 4, what would y be? Oh, you guys figured the graph out. I'll repeat the question because I'm going to assume you guys are grading me. If I do x is equal to 4, what's y going to be? That's good. Okay. If you take a look, we're just timesing the values by 2 each time, right? So uh, 0.125 times 2 is 0 0.0 or less. 0.25 times 2 is 0.5 times 2 is 1 times 2 is 2 times 2 is 4 times 6 times 8 times 6 is 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 Alright, so this is y equals 2 to the x. I'm going to do the same thing with 3 to the x in green. Okay, 0 0.037 is very, very small. What do you stack with that? 0 0.111 is going to be very small too. 0 0.032 is going to be small too. One is going to be there, eight, and two to the nine, and I should be twenty seven. Okay, uh, you don't have to say it out loud, but I want you to think with your giant brain. Think of the commonalities between the two of these graphs. Okay, so I want to find a way to generally graph these without having to make a table. All through my life. Okay. Um, on the next one, which is going to be blue, I'm going to do 0.5 to the x. So 2 to the negative, so 0.5 to the negative 3 is going to be 8. Then we're going to have 4. Then we're going to have 2 again. Then we're going to have 1. Then we're going to have 0.5. Then 2, 5. Pause and go to your after just to give you a second to finish your graph and then talk with your friends. Just before I ask you to pause, let me talk to someone who knows your graph, where your numbers came from, and all that. I just talked about the table, right? So the x 
because I used not the last column, the y value of the list is still five thousand five hundred. So I'm gonna pause in the video. I want you guys then to uh, finish up your graph, the graph.